Good morning. Namaste. Sasikal Asalaamu Alaikum. I've just got back from my rowing and it was amazing. I've still got my rowing t-shirt on for you. Our practice today, so we've had a total solar eclipse this morning, those of us who are in the UK. Um, and it was dark. Anyway, it was dark and cloudy, but the energy nevertheless. So even when we can't see these celestial events, we can feel the energy as they, as everything in the universe is intimately connected, it's interconnected, it's interdependent. And so the energy of that has been reverberating and resonating for us today. And we are entered, we have also had the Sagittarius new moon. So quite significant um, cosmic events. So um, let's come into our seat, into your sukhasa and your steady, stable seat. Perhaps you're seated on a block, a cushion or a folded blanket, my friends. I have my candle here for the element of fire, Agni. When we have a solar eclipse in Indian culture, it's often seen as an inauspicious occasion. And in indigenous and wisdom traditions, these events in nature or often, often took our significance. And when the world went into darkness, it would be frightening. It would be an awesome event. This is a time when we turn in, when we begin to see what must be seen, see what is hidden. The light will enable us to see with more clarity. So this coming together of the eclipse and of the new moon is when our vision is sharpened, our focus is clarified. Um, all the illusions and delusions are illuminated so that we can see the truth beyond the illusion. So we're going to harness this magic of the moon, harness the magic of the solar eclipse and trust that intuition, honor the inner voice, know that what the window for which we need to see is cleaned for us by this event, fire, the agni helps us to, it's a clearing, it's a cleansing. Um, element and so it helps us to see more with more perception. Let's bring our hands into we're going to bring you to an alternative Agni Mudra. So normally we do Agni Mudra with the left palm and the right fingers curled up. That's normally how we do Agni Mudra. Today I'm going to invite us to take a different form of Agni Mudra to interlace all of the fingers and extend both thumbs and bring them together so they're aligned. And then bring the hands right here into, so what I would like you to do is bring the, the um, thumb side of your hands right under, underneath your rib cage and where your diaphragm is here. And there's a pulse here. You might wanna feel out for this pulse for here. So if you kind of find your ribs and then move towards the solar plexus here and then, it's probably going to be a little bit fatty like me here. So you'll see some, you'll feel it. So press firmly to feel through any layers that you have there. And see if you can sense a pulse beating here. You might have to move your hand around to find it. It may be strong or it may be more subtle. So. Yesterday, when I felt my pulse, it was quite strong here. Today, it's much more subtle. 
it's not surprising that it's much more subtle now because I've been out on the river and I've been moving and using up energy. So if you can find it, great. If not, don't worry. It might. It just means that we kind of want to, we're going to, our practice will help to strengthen that pulse. And then sort of bring your hands in, really in at underneath the ribs here. So you create this flame here. The inner agni is being supported. Closing your eyes or gazing at your candle flame if you have chosen to light a flame. Begin to notice the breath. Notice the strength of the breath, the vigor of the breath, the vitality of the breath, especially when you draw in the breath and the upward quality of that in-breath. So focus on that in-breath today, the uplifting energizing, the revitalizing quality of that in-breath. This new moon in Sagittarius is associated with the optimism, the hope, the enthusiasm, the joy that comes from having clarity of vision or having come to some decisions, of coming to some understanding. This upward lifting vayu or breath is the, it's the pran, pran vayu. Three more upward lifting breath, focusing on that in breath and allowing the out breath to flow naturally in uh, synchronicity. We'll open our practice by chanting Om three times. And I invite you to offer each Om, one to the moon, one to the sun, and one to the earth. Inhale fully. Om. Om. Illuminating what is hidden. And finding a renewed sense of motivation, clarity and focus. Let's release your hands. Perhaps you curl and then curl your fingers. A lot of tension can build up there when you're clasping your hands. Let's rotate our hands one way, then the other way. Shaking them. And I'm just going to move my candle so it's safely out of the way. And I invite you to do that as well. Let's start by bringing our sit bones to the earth here. Inhale and keep your thumb, fingers curled in, thumbs extended. This will be the mudra that we go to um, today. So this variation. Inhale, reach up. Create a V-shape with your arms. And then as you exhale, bring in the elbows to the side of the ribs. Inhale to lift. So we're going to create what we call the Pastrika Praniyam or bellows breath. So these are going to be full breath into the lungs. Um, there's going to be active inhale, active um, exhale. Um, and so if you begin to feel, because this breath is essentially the pumping breath, like you would pump up the bellows. So when you are uh, uh, lighting a fire, you use those bellows at the fire to sort of get the embers burning. This is the kind of breath that we're doing now. So 
another way for you to feel this is to put your hands on your ribs and then you can notice the movement of the ribs as you inhale and exhale. So your choice, my friend. Let's take a full breath in, full breath out, and let's start our breath. So you might be making some noises in your uh, nostrils. What I forgot to tell you is you might want to blow your nose in case you've got lots of little clunky bits in there, which I have because I've been out and about. Really what you want to focus on is this extension at the ribcage. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the arms up, hold them up, hold them up. Take a full breath in and hold that breath in. As you exhale, let's release the arms down towards the earth very slowly. Keep the thumbs extended until you reach the ground. That's, whoa, that's a really proper energizing breath. I mean, if you're not dazzling right now, uh, I hope you are dazzling. If you're not dazzling, my friends, take a couple of long, slow, steady breaths to come back into a sense of harmony and balance with the, with the breath. Take a moment here. Now let's extend the left leg long, coming into Janushirsasana. Exhale, turn over the left leg. You can place your hands on the earth or you can place your fingertips together. So you create Hakini Mudra. Inhale, we're going to lengthen. So you can keep your hands there or you can inhale and lengthen to give yourself a little bit more height and lengthen the spine. And then exhale, hinge over towards the left foot as far as you can reach. Your hands can stay in Hakini Mudra or you can have them on the earth, my friends. So this is an unusual way. We normally take hold of our legs. We normally rest on something. But what I want to try and encourage you to do is to lengthen and reach. One more breath here. And if your hands are on the earth, my friends, that's beautiful connection as well. Inhale to reach up with the Hakini Mudra overhead. Exhale, hands on the earth below. Keep, stay high up in your fingertips. Bring the left into your, um, just curled in and thumb extended. Inhale, lift up. Let's see. I use my earpiece. Oh, the sound is going to be... One more breath. And then let's exhale back down to the earth, my friends. And you can bring your Agni Mudra here by interlacing your fingers. Take a moment here. Just release those fingers, especially if you are high up on your fingertips. Let's take the right leg actually up and over the left. Keep that left leg extended or bring that left heel in towards the right hip. Artha Matsyandrasan. Lengthen first. Remember, you can have your Hakini Mudra today to create height. As you exhale over to the right, hands can come to the earth. You can hug that left knee in, in which case bring your hand into this Artha Agni Mudra variation. Gaze over the shoulder. Keep connected with the element of fire at the core here. Three breaths here. And my friends, we're going to, I, I, I appreciate, I haven't offered us a um, Sanskrit mantra yet. We're going to do the Surya Namaskar with mantra. And so we will practice that mantra in a moment. 
Inhale, let's counter twist over to the left. Take a moment there. Now, my friends, if your legs are, um, your left leg is by your right hip, you can do that little twirly whirly move. I, I, I don't quite know what to call it. It's when you sort of come up high on your fingertips, come onto the ball of your right foot, onto the toes of the left foot, and then you spiral all the way around to come into Ardha Matsyandrasana on the other side. This takes a few practices. Um, I usually have lots of great fun, especially in my live classes, uh, in-person classes, when people kind of go, where have we ended up? And not quite ending up where they wanted to do. If your leg was extended, simply let's refold on the other side. So remember here, your right leg is extended this time. Uh, or it's right heel is near the left hip. So again, let's come into some height. Bring your Hakini Mudra above the crown. So you see Hakini Mudra is this um, mudra, sort of a universal um, embracing mudra. All of the elements are connected here, you'll notice, because all of the, each, remember each of our fingers represents a different element. Lengthen, and then as you exhale, Come up high on your left fingertips, your right hand fingers curl in, thumb extended. Gaze over to the left. Keep lengthening on the in breath and gently turning on the out breath. These are very subtle movements. One full breath here, my friends. And let's turn back to center, counter twist. And if you can hear yawning in the background, that'll be by various family members. <laughs> including, and when I talk about family members, I mean my little puppy dogs. Back to center. If that right leg is folded in, extend it, my friends. Let's uncross the left leg, hug the left heel into the groin area, extend through that right leg, reach up. Remember, you can stay with your hands on the earth here. As you exhale, hinge over to the right foot. Keep reaching through the arms. Janusha Sassan to the right. Um, when we we move into the energy of Sagittarius in this new moon, we're moving into the energy of the truth seekers, representing this the centaur taking flight with the wings, being a traveler, an explorer, an adventurous spirit, wandering and not being, so it's a very mutable sign. This element is fire for this sign. So as well as indicating time for change and transition, it can feel unpredictable, unknowable. Inhale back to center, take a moment, my friends. And then let's bring both our legs around, come onto all fours into Madriyasana and Bhikliyasana the cat cow cycle. Inhale, draw the core in, the navel in towards the spine to activate the Manipur chakra. This is the, um, the chakra that's associated with the element of fire. Agni. Inhale, lift the tailbone, dip the lower back, lengthen the sternum, broaden across the collarbones and lift your gaze. Exhaling, squeeze the mulaband, draw in the navel, Tuck in the chin. So here you have engaged all three of the locks. Now let's move through this cycle. Anything between three and five times. Just 
keep cycling here. And then when you're ready, my friends, we're going to come into stillness. Tuck the toes, press through the clawed hands of this tiger. Let's lift the knees. Take a moment here and melt your tailbone back. Pedal through your feet, coming into Parvatasan. Mountain pose. And from here, my friends, we're going to come into a bit of a cycle here. We're going to cycle through mountain, plank, and up dog. So bear with me as we practice this. Now, if you want to keep your knees on the earth, you can keep your knees on the earth. So let's give it a go with the knees lifted. Mountain plank by shifting your shoulders over the heel over the heels of your hand then bring your you can bring your knees to the earth if you wish and then come into up dog or from here you simply thread your heart through your arms and lift your gaze so there's this knees on the earth or knees lifted and then you can come onto your tuck your toes so let's practice that a few times. It's really hard to explain while we're doing it. So mountain, plank, Urdhva Mukha, Mukha Shavanasana, part of the Tassan. I'll lose my earpiece loads of times here. Plank. And so if we wanted to do it with our knees on the earth, we could be Bamarasan, Aldafalakasan, and then this sort of high cobra. So you can find different ways of doing this. And they're both having the exact same benefit of strengthening of getting that stamina, um, of reaching into the stamina, of getting that internal combustion going, this sense of movement and flight. And it is one smooth movement. We're not holding anywhere. We're simply transitioning and visiting each of those. I think we've done enough now, my friends. So you'll probably want a little rest here because you're shifting the body weight around. So let's all bring our knees to the earth, take them wide, big toes together and sit back in child's pose and bring your arms alongside you, palms face up. This will release the wrists, the shoulders. And rest here for a moment in wide legged child pose, Balasana. Forgive me, my ear thing keeps falling out today. You know what my story is my ears get bigger for some reason. What we're trying to shift during this particular this sort of eclipse window is shifting the veils, lifting and unveiling all that has been hidden or suppressed, feelings and emotions, feelings of discontent, frustration, anger, uh, loss of direction, the loss of your mojo, loss of drive. I've had a real dip in the last few months of my mojo. And now it's beginning to, I'm beginning to recognize and beginning to challenge it, beginning to lift that energy. One more breath here, and then come up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your tailbone, and we're going to come into Vyagarasana, tiger pose here. So Vyagarasana, you bend into the right knee, and lift the right leg long behind us. Bend the knee and bring the heel towards the buttocks. 
And again, this is not about being trans and um, being sedentary or being still here. We're really moving and shifting the energy around. So we're going to thread that right knee in towards the nose. And then reach it back long. Bend into the knee, heel towards the buttocks. And then let's take the right knee over to the right elbow. And then back up. Now, if you prefer to have that left knee on the earth, that is a choice, my friend. So again, we can do this pose with our left knee on the earth. So we're bringing that left knee, that right knee in towards the nose and then over to the right elbow. Extend it long, bend into it, over to the left elbow so we cross the body. So essentially, my friends, when we extend that left long behind, left right leg long behind us, we bend into the knee, bring the heel towards the buttock, and then thread the knee through towards the nose, extend it back long, bend the knee, thread it through to touch the right elbow or towards the right elbow, and then extend it long. Bend the knee, thread it through over to the left elbow. That's one cycle done. And when you've done that and you've had a practice, and remember you can rest so you can be on or off that left knee. We're going to flow here. So it's an... And then when you've done your Come back onto both knees. You can hear the breath has all risen up into my chest here. So really, in that practice there, we're using bellows breath. Like the basrika pranayam. I'm feeling that pumping of the breath as I'm doing that move. So you're going to feel like you've just done a bit of a workout. You've done a run. That's okay. Let's bring the breath back. So you can either bring the breath back by coming into balasana, wide-legged balasana, so there's lots of room, or you can sit on your heels as I am in this variation of virasana, hero's pose. And I like to keep my knees wide here because I want to give my abdomen, and my ribs, lots of space to breathe here so that I can come back into equilibrium with my breath. And you'll notice that after a few breaths, you return back to that sense of equilibrium. Come back into calm, into tranquility. So what we've done is really shift around energy, shake it up so that it's almost like when you have a glass or a jar of mud and water and then you shake it all up and there's just mud everywhere and you can't see it clearly. And then when you come back into stillness, the mud settles and uh, the sediment drops down to the bottom of the jar and the water begins to clear. And that's what our practice is aiming to discover for us today. I spend a lot of time talking, my friends. Come on, back into action. Into your mountain or your bamarasana, your choice, my friends. This time we're extending the left leg. Forward. So remember that right knee can be lifted or it can be on the earth. Your choice. Lift that left leg long behind you. Bend into the knee. So bring the heel towards the buttock. In through to the nose. Extend long. Bend into the knee. Out to the left elbow. Extend long. Bend into the knee. Cross the body over to the right elbow. Extend long. And then bring the foot back to the earth here. And again, come back into your rest. So we spent a little less time, you could see, because we knew what we were doing, where we were going. And when you practice, you have your own independent practice, a home practice. You can do that one round, two rounds, three rounds depending on how much energy you want to shift, make sure you come back into the stillness because you can hear, even with that very short practice there, the breath is bellowing here. It is full, expansive. 
it's clearing. And then my friends, come on to all fours here. Bring your arms down towards the earth, coming into Anahatasana. Take your arms as wide as the mat. That gives you more space if you need it. We're moving into melting heart here. If extending both arms feels challenging today, then you can always fold one arm as an option to relieve that sense of extension that may be too much just for this moment. And then don't forget to swap over. Tailbone is lifted here. Core is engaged. Eyebrow center on the air. And when you're ready, my friends, this is an option. Bring your elbows down and then bring the hands in namaskar at the back of the head and then open the palm so that you come into hakini mudra. So namaskar is when the palms and fingers are together. Hakini is when we pull apart the hands but keep the fingertips engaged and connected. And if you have the one leg option, so you can take your hand and perhaps you rest it on the shoulder blade behind you. So that you still have a connection with the hand and the, your body. Again, you can feel the opening here, the clearing, the revealing. Let's release our hands. Come back into Bamaras and take a moment. Let's lift our knees back into mountain and walk your feet to the top of the mat or jump as you wish, my friends, depending on how much energy and mobility you feel like you have. Forward fold here. And then inhale, unfill your spine to rise up one vertebrae at a time. Let's come into standing here, Tadasana. So I'm going to bring my hands into my Agni Mudra variation today, interlace all my fingers, extend my thumbs. Remember the thumbs represent the fire element. You see, I'm taking a proud stance today, strong stance here. So we're working with this practice again on Wednesday. We're going to have two sessions with this theme to really sort of do the deep unveiling work. For today, I'm going to introduce uh, the Surya Namaskar and then we normally do a Chandra Namaskar practice when it's new moon. I'm going to draw do Surya Namaskar today because of the total solar eclipse. And the reason that I'm going to draw on the energy of the sun is that when the sun is hidden from view, it, it, indigenous peoples would call upon the reappearance of the sun because the sun's energy is so vital to our existence um, to nourish the earth and to nourish us, to keep us warm, to light our paths when, the, when we are searching or looking or making our way in life's journey. And so this is now where we're gonna use our mantra. So, some of you will know this. Come to standing with the hands in your Agni Mudra at the solar plexus here. And when you're standing here, my friends, I'm going to invite you to call after me. We're going to say Om, and then we're going to call on the quality or aspect of the sun, and then Namaha, which is the invocation. So Om is a vibration of the universe, then a particular quality or aspect of the sun, and then the invocation. Um, the salutation, rather the salutation. Om Vitraya Namaha, one who is friendly to all. Join me. Om Vitraya Namaha. Let's reach our hands overhead, the upward salute here. And here you can bring your hands into our Mudra for today. 
and it's Ravaye. And Ravaye is the one that is shining, is radiant, is resplendent. Om Ravaye Namaha, together. Om Ravaye Namaha. Exhale and fold forward down towards the earth into Uttanasana. And again, I'm maintaining my Hikini Mutra. So my friends, I offer you that today as we move. Suryaya. Suryaya means uh, the one that induces activity that dispels the shadows. Om Suryaya Namaha. Om Suryaya Namaha. Hands on the earth. Let's step back long with the right leg. Bring the knee to the earth. And keep your hands on the earth um, here. We're in Chetakasana. And our mantra here is Om Banave Namaha. Banave means one that illuminates all that is hidden. One that lightens and brightens the shadows. Om Banave Namaha. Om Banave Namaha. Tuck your toes, lift the right knee, step back in mountain. Hagaya here. One that is all pervasive. Om Kagaya Namaha. Om Kagaya Namaha. Bend into your knees, chest and chin to the earth in Ashtang Asana. And the mantra here is Pushne, one that um, gives strength, nourishment, and brings fulfillment. Tailbone lifted here. Om Pushne Namaha. Om Pushne Namaha. Slide your knees away. Remember, we're going quite slowly here because we're, I'm introducing this to you. Tuck the elbows in. And we're going to come into Bhujangasan Cobra. Harinya, Harinya Garbaya. The golden brilliance. Or the golden cosmic egg of creation. Om Hiranya Garbaya Namaha. Om Hiranya Garbaya Namaha. Back into mountain, Marichiye, giver of light, of infinite rays of light. Om Marichiye Namaha. Om Marichiye Namaha. Bring the left knee down, step forward with the right foot. Coming into Chetakasan. Aditya here. Aditya means the, uh, the son of the divine mother or the creative power of the universe. Om Aditya Namaha. Om Aditya Namaha. Lift the left knee, step forward into forward hold. Savitre. Savitre means one who is responsible for life. Stimulate power of the sun. Om Savitre Namaha. Om Savitre Namaha. Bend into your knees. Let's rise up. Into this uh, Urdhva Hastasana. And the mantra here is Arkaya. Arkaya means one that is um, constant, ever present. Om Arkaya Namaha. Om Arkaya Namaha. Hands in Agni at the solar plexus. Banave. Oh, sorry, um, Bhaskariya. Om which means giver of um, this internal illuminating light, infinite light, uh, which brings wisdom. Om Bhaskariya Namaha. Om Bhaskariya Namaha. Om. So, my friends, 
we'll go through that again. And so this time I'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll go with more pace because we kind of know where we're going and we know the mantra now. So I'll just say the word in the middle, the Sanskrit word in the middle, and then you can join me. Remember, we start with our hands at the navel in the solar plexus. Mitraya. Om Mitraya Namaha. And reach up. Ravaye. Om Ravaye Namaha. Forward fold. Suryaya. Om Suryaya Namaha. Left leg back, knee on the earth. Banave. Om Banave Namaha. Tuck your toes back into mountain. Kagaya. Om Kagaya Namaha. Stangasan. Knees, chest, chin. Pushne. Om Pushne Namaha. Bujangasan. Hiranya Garbaya. Om Hiranya Garbaya Namaha. Mountain. Marichiye. Om Marichiye Namaha. Right knee on the earth, left foot step forward. Adityaya. Om Adityaya Namaha. Step forward with the right foot to meet the left. Forward fold. Savitre. Om Savitre Namaha. Inhale to rise up. Arkaya. Om Arkaya Namaha. Hands at the solar plexus, Manipur Chakra. Here we say Bhaskariya. Om Bhaskariya Namaha. Om. So just checking in with you how you're doing. So that was a much faster flow. So we really are not. This is an interesting moon, this Sagittarius moon, because it's connected to the element of fire and it's come with a total solar eclipse. So the energy that we're using isn't with the energy that we're invoking is really drawing upon the sun's energy, the reflective energy of the sun and how it is hidden and it cannot be seen because of the shadow that has fallen on the moon and the shadow that fell in front of the sun itself. And so what we're associating with this is sense of things that we know to be true that we have denied or resisted or we have not acknowledged. And then this is an opportunity for us to reflect, to, to understand what is and what needs to change and how we can create that change. So it's a real period of mutability. We'll go through that one more time, my friends, and we'll, I'll remind you what the translations are also. Hands at the solar plexus. Mitraya, friendly to all. Om Mitraya Namaha, hands reach up. Ravaye, the radiant one. Om Ravaye Namaha, forward fold. Suryaya, induces activity, action. Om Suryaya Namaha, left leg back, knee on the earth, Banave. One that illuminates the shadows and reveals what is to be seen. Om Banave Namaha, back into mountain Kagaya, all pervading, moving across the sky. Om Kagaya Namaha, knees, chest, chin, push me. Om Pushne Namaha. Pushne is one that gives energy and nourishment and fulfillment. Rise up into Bhujangasan, Hiranya Garbaya, the seed of potentiality, the golden cosmic brilliance. 
Om Hiranyagarbaya Namaha. Back into mountain, Marichiye, giver of life, giver of light, infinite rays of light. Om Marichiye Namaha. Step forward with the right foot, left knee on the earth. Adipiya, uh, the creative power of the Divine Mother. Om Adipiya Namaha. Step forward with the left foot to meet the right. Savitre, responsible for life, the stimulating power of life itself. Om Savitre Namaha. Inhale to reach up. Arkaya. Om Arkaya Namaha. One that is radiant offers wisdom. Hands at the solar plexus. Baskaryaya, the enlightening one. Om Baskaryaya Namaha. Oh. Final round, my friends. And we're just going to go for it. Left leg, remember this time. Starting at the Manipur Chakra. Om Mitraya Namaha. Om Ravaye Namaha. Om Surya Namaha. Om Banave Namaha. Om Hagaya Namaha. Uh, eight, eight limb pose here. Om Pushne Namaha. Cobra. Om Hiranyagarbaya Namaha. Mountain. Om Marichiye Namaha. Left foot forward. Om Adityaya Namaha. Right foot forward, forward hold. Om Savitre Namaha. Om Markaya Namaha. Om Baskariya Namaha. Om. 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 Amy. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> Wonderful practice. Really energizing, energizing, revitalizing, helping us to feel strong, helping us to see, see with clarity. The element of fire is connected with the, the sense of sight. Inhale, hands reach up. Gentle forward fold. Take a moment here. Let's step back into mountain. And bring the knees as wide as the mount. Big toes touch. And come back into child's pose here. Wide legged child's pose. Take your hands alongside your body, palms face up. Remember, you can create some padding here. Place your eyebrow center on a pillow. Our practice has gone really quickly today, probably because I spent so much of it talking to you. This is really, we should call this Sangha because uh, there's always conversation to be had. Come back into stillness. Now notice the way that the breath is flowing through the body, especially that upward lifting breath. We started our practice by creating bellows breath, the speaker pranayam, and our practice itself. Once you get into the flow of this, and I really encourage you to practice this on your own so that you can go at your own pace rather than 
you know, this sort of artificial pace that you have to go along with me. And I'll post the mantra. I'll do it in the WhatsApp chat. And I'll also put it in the on bottom of the YouTube video. So you can practice this mantra and get to know this mantra for the Surya Namaskar. Because it... You'll notice when we did the Agni Mudra and the Hakini Mudra, it just brings this whole body, mind, spirit, integrity, integration into our practice. We are coming face to face with that which needs change. One more moment here. Inhale to rise up. We're not going to take Shavasana today unless you wish to. Let's come onto our sit bones. And we're going to come instead into a meditation. So come onto your cushions or your blocks. Now, what I'm going to offer to you, either you can sit in Sukhasana, and you can also sit on blocks, you can pad your knees, you can sit on a bolster in virasana come into a seated position that feels comfortable for you that you can sustain the other option i'm going to give you today is uh siddhasana so siddhasana is again a seated pose where you bring the left heel right into the ground so you bring that in and then this pose is so that your heel is connected with your groin. The reason we're connecting with the groin is that it's connection with the mula band. So we're connected here. So we've created this circuit of the body. And then you come into either your Agni Mudra here at the solar plexus or Hakini Mudra. Also come into Hakini Mudra, your choice, my friends. And we're going to go through our mantra again. And then we're going to have silence. So we'll do call and response with the mantra, the Surya Namaskar mantra. And then um, we'll come into silence. Closing your eyes. Om Pitraya Namaha. Together. Om Pitraya Namaha. Om Pravaye Namaha. Om Bravaye Namaha. Om Surya Namaha. Om Surya Namaha. Om Banave Namaha. Om Banave Namaha. Om Kagaya Namaha. Om Kagaya Namaha. Om Pushne Namaha. Om Pushne Namaha. Om Hiranyagarbaya Namaha. Om Hiranyagarbaya Namaha. Om Marichiye Namaha. Om Marichiye Namaha. Om Adityaya Namaha. Om Adityaya Namaha. Om Savitre Namaha. Om Savitre Namaha. Om Markaya Namaha. Om Markaya Namaha. Om Bhaskariya Namaha. Om Bhaskariya Namaha. Om. Allow the vibrations of the mantra to feed the flame and let's sit in stillness until the close of our practice.
become aware of your breath. The upward lifting breath as you breathe in. Become aware of sound of my voice, the sounds near and far. Close our practice by chanting Om Shanti. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Then you vad, then you vad, then you vad, my friends. Been a beautiful practice. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed practicing with all of you. Thank you, my loves. Have a wonderful day wherever you are.